Where are you? Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Tuesday interview at Mortgage Coach. Every Tuesday at nine o'clock Pacific for over a decade, we're here to bring you amazing interviews with people that are killing it in the marketplace. Sometimes it's an author, sometimes a top producer. Today, it is Josh Metal. What's up, Josh? Hey, everybody. Good to see you. Thanks for having me, Dave. Yeah, no, thanks for making time to come in and talk about how you're how you're leveraging your database and how you're teaching and training loan officers on your team to use their database to be something valuable for agents. So I'm, I'm pumped up on the topic. You know, brother, thank you. All right, we also have uh, Todd Bookspan is co-host. What's up, Mr. Win by Noon? You know, not much. It's always fun when we have Josh in the house. And I think the number one struggle that all of you are having right now is how to add value to your realtors. And, and the, the beauty of it is, is Josh is gonna uncover how you actually already have what you need. You have a database. And there's gold in that database. And so anytime Josh is here to teach us, we're all here to listen. And uh, along with me listening, we've got none other than Deborah Bird from Plug and Play SM. What's up, Deborah? Hey, it is Tuesday. Would you know what that means? TCA Tuesday. So when y'all listen to this, I want you to take some notes and I want you to go and do a one-to-many strategy with a TCA. So make sure you're super focused when you're taking these gems from Josh that uh, you you're listening for those cues of how you can net, then go one to many with the TCA. So I'm excited. Love that. Hey, hey Josh, did you make note of that gems from Josh? I mean, I, I sense a, a title <laughs> of a new podcast coming. I'm in. Let's roll. Let's give All gems right. from Josh. <laughs> See what I can I come mean, up with. Look at Josh as like Captain America. So this whole captain of your wealth team, I really think he needs to come on board with like a Captain America suit. I'll wear mine. He can wear his. <laughs> all right. All right. Next we'll time I'm in. Make a, make a note for the next one. So, so guys, I'm going to frame the conversation around, you know, Todd said something, add value to realtors. And I, I think every loan officer in America is adding value or trying to add value to realtors. Um, you know, to me, this is more than adding value. This is creating a competitive advantage for yourself that's sustainable, not only in this market, but in future markets. Uh, I want everybody to make note of my, my shirt I'm wearing, no borrower left behind with the mortgage coach and sales boomerang logo. By the way, you can get those on the win by noon store. So we'll put a link at some point where you can get these shirts and represent in the market. And, and here's the deal, guys. I think mortgage professionals, they're using mortgage coach and sales boomerang. They, they have a competitive advantage with agents because they have superpowers that most loan officers don't have and most agents don't have. So we're going to, we're going to focus on that. So Josh, let's start with how are you doing in the market? You know, what kind of volume did you do last year? And then let's get into the the call that Jeremy did. And then let's get into what you're doing with agents. Yeah, well, I, I think that's an appropriate place to start because um, the, the market is challenging. You know, uh, this is my 21st year in the industry. And I'd say this is probably the second most challenging year that I've seen. Um, we've got interest rates up 2%. We've got the lowest inventory of all time. Uh, hopefully see a little more inventory this, this summer. Uh, we've got one out of three homes being sold to cash buyers. And we have hedge funds, venture capital, professional investors snatching up. The most recent data I saw was about 20% of the listings that come on the market are being sold into professional investors that are turning those single family homes into long-term uh, rentals. So no doubt this is a challenging market. And what I'll, what I'll offer is that in the last two really pivotal points in my career where I was able to, to make a, a, a insanely big leap forward, they came in these types of moments. They came in moments where there was extra capacity. I had time to think. I had time to lay out a new strategy. I wasn't in reactive mode. I was able to pivot into a proactive mode. So the first thing that I, I want to offer is that we are 100% responsible for our energy every single day. We can allow ourselves to panic. We can allow ourselves to buy into the narrative of what's going on in the media, uh, <laughs> right? The Russian conflict, China lockdowns. I mean, it goes on and on and on, right? The Federal Reserve raising rates. Um, the inverted yield curve, like there's so much that we can allow to capture our energy and our attention. 
And what I would offer right now is that in each of those challenges that we're seeing in this market, there is opportunity. And what I want to what I want to share today is a strategy to work on two pillars of your business simultaneously. Um, number one, we should always be thinking of the the pillar of our past clients, not just because that's a business opportunity, but holy crap, that was our commitment. You know, I, if you're like me, and you if you're a part of this mortgage community, I assume that you are. This mortgage coach community, I assume that you are. You made a commitment to those clients somewhere through your sales process that not only are you going to advise them before the transaction, not only are you going to make sure that you have fulfillment done in an in excellent fashion, but you're going to be with them for per perpetuity, for as long as they have that mortgage to help educate them and to help make sure that they're making good decisions and, and utilizing that leverage to create wealth. This is the opportunity to really make good on that promise to them. So we're going to focus on the past client pillar, but we're also going to show you and discuss and mastermind. I really want, you know, everybody here's feedback on how they could up level what, what I'm thinking, but I want to show you how we can leverage that database and the artificial technology that we have now, that artificial intelligence that we have now to be a magnet for realtors, because we actually have a superpower that maybe we haven't figured out yet which is that we have an ability to monitor our past client database and actually turn that database into potential leads for our referral partners. So I want to talk about and mastermind how we're going to use this, this technology to attract, retain, and, and, and bring on new realtor partners. Love, love that. And I know this call came about some of the backstory was you had watched that interview I did with Jeremy Forcier, where he talked about, I don't know, it was like a dozen different scripts that he had for different database trigger alerts. And, and all, all I know is I think you watched it on a weekend and on Sunday, you, you sent me a PDF that you were going to share with your team on Monday. So would you mind uh, just sharing kind of the backstory to that? Um, you know, what you liked about that? what you think is important, you know, kind of come at it as a coach, you know, like the, the same meeting you probably had with your team. I would love to know how you framed it. And, and then I think you have some type of a deliverable you might share at some point. Yeah. Well, the backup, you know, we, we got involved with sales boomerang about a year ago and we started to really try to figure out what's the most effective way to communicate and to, to convert and to step back in the lines of our lives of our clients with these with these trigger leads, and uh, I think originally, uh, if I remember, Dave, you and I were going to get on and do do a, a scripting uh, of how you know the conversations we're having, and then I watched your interview with Jeremy Forcier, and I said, "Well, I got nothing on that guy. That <laughs> those scripts were those scripts were bomb." So instead of trying to up J-Force, I said, I just want to memorialize what he said, because what he's so brilliant about uh, is that he can take something that can appear complicated and he can simplify it, and then he can put a process or a sequence over it. So I just created a document to your point. I listened to his scripts and I said, you know, I don't have anything better than his scripts. His scripts are simple. They're deployable. They're brilliant. Um, but let's, let's memorialize them. And uh, so if you want, I'll, I'll share my screen and we can walk through that now if you're up for it, Dave. Yeah, yeah, let's go through this. And you know, the, the thing I would want to call out is for every manager, guys, this is what leadership is. He watched a piece of content and then he's going to make it digestible and teachable for the people that he leads. So I just want to call that out. And again, Josh has made this available to the mortgage coach community. After he shows it to us and walks us through, I'll show you how you guys can get access to it. Hey, Dave, yeah, it, let's take it one step further, too. I mean, for all you loan officers, too. I mean, Josh watched a video that many of you all watched, and he took action on it, right? He took notes. He studied it. And that's really how you take what you learn here, and you, and you take action to become better. So always, uh, always, I'm a student of Josh Metal because he always is great at execution. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. Yeah, uh, just, to, just to tie that down, I was so impressed with the interview. I originally, I uh, immediately went to work with our content team to create this document. I then texted it to, to J-Force and I said, hey bro, are you, are you cool if I use this? Cause this is gonna be the topic of my Tuesday training with my team. And then I held a, a Tuesday sales meeting training and we, we taught this and mastermind around these scripts. So, you know, that's what's so beautiful about this community. 
is that we're willing to share um, so generously and so abundantly because we believe that it can actually help the clients that we serve. And when we're focused on sharing and learning how to focus on, um, on improving the lives of our clients and not in a scarcity mindset, that's what makes such a killer community. And of course, Jay said, Jay Force said I could, I could have this and, and run with it. So here's what I created. Whoops. Long screen. We'll get there in just a minute. All right. So let's start at the top here uh, because there was a lot of brilliance in that interview. And if I missed anything, I'd love to hear from you, Dave, Todd, Deborah. L let me know what you think I missed. So the first thing, and we'll make this available to everybody. The first thing is this is a live link to the video. And I really believe everybody should watch this once, if not twice. So you can just click on this link. It'll pull up the, the YouTube Mortgage Coach video. And the first thing that I got from Jeremy's call was that he called out a sequence. Don't get, uh, don't make it confusing. Don't make it too hard. Just do the same thing, follow it religiously. And his sequence was call, email, text. And I think that's right. And I don't care if you text, call, email. I don't, just, just do all three steps. The point is you've used every media possible to get to that client and to try to schedule an appointment with them. The other thing that I believe I heard him say is that he's driving them to something like Calendly to schedule an appointment and do it as efficiently as possible. Those are just little things to pull down the resistance of a client scheduling a meeting with us. So we should call them. We're usually going to get a voicemail. We should follow up with the email. Now I'll go into what the call script and the email script was. And then we should text them to drive them to the email. Now, uh, your email is great for communicating information. It's terrible for communicating influence. So, so separate those out in your, in your mind. If you're trying to get somebody to do something, an email is the worst way to create influence. So what was brilliant about this is he created a sequence where he conveyed the information in both a voicemail and an email, and then he, he curated or created influence with the text by driving them to the email or in the voicemail and then drove them to a, to a Calendly. So I think there's, a, there's actually a lot of brilliance in that sequence. And then he, he created a follow-up uh, follow campaign here or a, or a sequence. And uh, he said every other day, uh, so, so he does this initial one, two, three, which is exactly what I would recommend the loan officer do themselves. And then we have a backup. And this is the same thing we have in our world. We have a, um, a dialer. Um, we call him a, a client success manager who follows up with these clients uh, on the trigger leads and tries to set calendly appointments for our loan officers every other day for one week, once an alert goes off, one time a week for a month, and one time a month for a year. I think that's, I think that's a great sequence. Uh, don't have anything to add on, on, on what Jeremy said there. It was as good as it gets. And then what I did here, Dave, is I just went through and literally just wrote out his script. And, and what I love about his scripts is they're short and they're to the point. Um, we can dive into these just a, just a little bit deeper if you want, Dave. Uh, but let me pause for a minute and get any feedback you have there. Yeah. So, so first of all, just a push to everyone, you know, listen to the content, um, create your own scripts, learn something that you you know intuitively so that when you show up in the marketplace, it's just intuitive. Uh, and I do wanna call out, um, you'll notice where he had the equity um, alerts. So the database alerts equity, he had a move up and a move down option. So one of the things that, you know, we can turn those equity alerts and those cash out alerts into listing opportunities. Uh, and I, I just put a, a um, 18 minute video, Jeremy did a sales meeting on Wednesday and I took 18 minutes of it where he talked about the move down analysis that he calls right size DCA and the move up. So I just want you guys to know that's been added to our YouTube channel where you can just get that micro lesson, that 18 minute micro lesson. Uh, Todd, anything you want to call out before Josh walks us through these? No, I mean, I just want to kind of reiterate what I said before. I mean, take action on this. Now you, Josh has done the easy button for you. He's actually done the homework and now he's actually put it all into a document for you so go back rewatch jeremy walking through it like josh said and then create this system that creates the influence that josh is talking about i love how you said that josh i've 
I, I always believe email is a terrible way to communicate, but you really kind of put a, a good bow around it, right? Email is great for giving information, but it's not really great for influence. And that's where really, I think for most of you know it, it's either face-to-face -face like this sort of over Zoom um, or on the <laughs> phone where you're going to have a better opportunity to get influence. So that's why you've got to try the multi-channel approach to make sure that you get them. Well said. Yeah, I will call it just a couple of things because there was there was something that I had also um, started to use that I think was really, really important that Jeremy called out. And so, you know, if I'm doing something and then I hear Jeremy uh, say he's doing it too, I know it's worth sharing. And, and I thought this was really, um, really intuitive uh, on his script. So on a credit inquiry, you know, he, he mentioned in his script that, that he lists these things, whether that's buying a new car, funding college education, consolidating debt, needs for cash out or refinance, or maybe you're just looking to pay off a loan faster and reduce your term. So he's literally going through the process of listing all those things out. And, and the reason why I think that is so important is that when people, people don't know how to leverage equity and, and leverage um, loans, debt, if you will, to create wealth, they don't understand it. They just think debt is bad. So we have to plant those seeds. We have to plant those ideas in their mouth like, or in their minds like, oh man, yeah, I, I was talking to my wife about the renovation and we've been trying to move, but we can't find. But if you're not planting those seeds, they're not going to think of those things on their own if their voicemail alternative, alternatively was just like, hey, Dave, I saw I had an alert that you have a bunch of equity in your home. Congratulations. Call me. Right? Like, you're like, yeah, dude, we're, we're trying to pay off that. So we need to plant those seeds to, to help them figure out what they're going to do with that, um, with that loan and how to appropriately use that leverage. Any, any other key things you want to highlight from the, the five scripts? And guys, I'm going to show you how you can download this and get it in just a few minutes. Yeah, I'm going to just tie back to what I kicked off with. And that was mindset. If we're starting our day listening to whatever the chaos narrative is on crisis news network or anywhere else the energy of which these scripts or these conversations with clients ride on is going to be flat so if we're going to to have a, a focus on the pillar of connecting with our past client database i would offer that you, we need to make sure that our energy is in the right place we're coming from a place of helping we're coming from a place of finding solutions. We're coming from a place of inspiration. And we're not coming from an energetic level of desperation, fear, anxiety. I need a deal. Like really be aware of your energy and, and be aware that you alone are in control of your energy. What you're allowing to come in right now. Like I, I, I've been telling my team that we should be controlling our headspace like we're protecting an infant child. We, we, there's just certain things that we're not going to expose an infant child to. And we should be thinking of our headspace and our mindset in the exact same way right now, because there's so much crisis news going on out there. We got to tune that out and we got to stay focused on the solutions and the opportunities out there. Couldn't, could not agree more. So let me show you guys where you can get that and then we're gonna pivot to all the ways that we can turn this into realtor value. So, so one, there, you know, the video is in our YouTube channel. I in our blog, you can find our blog if you go to resources, go down to blog. And the most recent one, it's called Trigger Alerts, turn tr turning trigger alerts into a competitive advantage with realtors. And it it breaks down some of the principles that were covered. It breaks down the specific strategies and the you know, number one, number two, I think there's about eight different strategies, eight, yeah, there's eight. And then down here at the bottom where it says resources, you'll notice, see how Josh made um, the scripts on his own for his team. So if you click on that link, uh, there's a downloadable PDF that you can download and you can read. And um, the only ask myself or Josh have is if you do create your own version, you know, you play it forward, share it in the mortgage coach group, either make it a post in our Facebook group or share it in comments. But anything you do to, to turn these things into teachable tools, we, we want them. So guys, 
Um, Deborah, anything you want to call out before we pivot the conversation to just focusing on how do we turn this database into a full-on realtor strategy? Well, just everything that Josh said can be done and leveraged on social. So, you know, and I hear this a lot, mm. planting the seeds. The scripting and those embedded commands are genius and it's great, but we also have to make sure that we're creating social where we are storytelling and putting into practice of here's all the ways that equity can solve most people's problems. And if you storytell, and I, I we shared this, I think it was last week where I had made a post in my private group of, Give me all the ways that you guys have helped families in the past where you know, it was most people's biggest problem is money. So how could, if they knew, how could they solve their biggest problems with all this equity that they now have that they may not know about? So take that and, and social, put it on social and storytell. And again, it's got to be that emotional connection where you're you're showing you know the whole Renee sequence of communication. Do the intro of like the client problem, how you solve the problem is the message, and then the tie down. And then the other thing he said was, you know, beware of your energy, protect your headspace. We also have to do that on social and make sure that mm. we, with all of the noise going on, if together this mortgage coach community could get over the fear of what do I look like? How do I sound? You know, are people going to judge me? If we all were creating the same type of financial literacy and content together, which we can help you do, by the way, plug and play, <laughs> then maybe we could also change the way that Americans are getting their news. And we could help create that shift that's needed. So both of the things that Josh just said, I want y'all to know, don't stop at the phone script or an email, put it on social. Yep, create a total cost analysis, put it all on social guys. All right, so Josh, let's let's pivot because I know you said, hey, I, I want to shine a light on Jeremy, but I don't want to redo those scripts. But I know you have a lot of passion for, you know, one sales strategy. How do we take these scripts? How do we take uh, database management and and make it a value with realtors? So let's rock that out. So for a minute, we should just put ourselves in the in the shoes of our realtor partners. And I believe as tough as this market is for, for loan officers in terms of, you know, we really got to work for it. We got to reinvent ourselves. We got to be on our A game. I got to believe it's even harder for realtors because they don't have an opportunity to do refinances, to leverage that equity for cash out. Um, most of them don't have or are not leveraging effectively tools like HomeBot and sending monthly wealth digests. The, 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 the value that I see most realtors believing they have for their clients post-close is a recipe, a calendar book, uh, a movie event, and that's great. But really, if you ask most realtors, they don't feel like they have a lot of value to convey or transfer to clients until that client's ready to buy again. And that gives us an incredible advantage because we do have those tools. We do have things like Sales Boomerang and Mortgage Coach where we can continue to step into the lives of those clients and get and transfer value, help them learn how to use leverage, move up, move down analysis, cost of weight, all of those things that we have. Realtors are not using the same level that loan officers do. And number two, that's number one. Number two, they don't have access to. If you're not a licensed mortgage loan officer, you can't obtain credit information on your database. So we have this like superpower that many of us are, are not using. And even those that are using it effectively, myself included, could do a way better job showing the power of that artificial intelligence that we have running in the background on how that can be deployed for our, for our realtor partners. So if I can, I'm just gonna share my screen. I'll, uh, I just wanna show the, the alerts that are available in Sales uh, Boomerang. And then I think this will be a good transition on, on how I propose we use this, Dave. Yeah, let's check out what you got and, and go back and forth here. So here's the alerts that we have turned on inside of, of, of Sales Boomerang and, and you know, if you needed something to smile at or be encouraged about, 
we had 43 alerts today on my team with a potential uh, mortgage value of almost 18 million. So that's pretty cool. That's a great way to start your day. There's a lot of opportunity out there. The, the alerts that we have turned on is having to do with interest rate. And that, of course, is just going to monitor where your client's interest rate was when you close them as, and as it relates to where current rates are. Uh, credit improvement. Uh, don't have any alerts on that today, but that would be if a client's credit score went up a certain number of points, it's going to alert you that there may be an opportunity there. By the way, uh, these clients that are having credit, credit improvement alerts, what do you think their car loans, their student loans, and their credit card interest rates are at? We know they're higher because when we put them into their mortgage, their mortgage rate was higher. So even if we can't reduce their interest rate today, chances are that if we analyze their global debts, those interest rates are going to be much higher on those alerts. So these are really, really high value alerts. Equity analysis, what an easy conversation. What an easy conversation. Deborah, congratulations on your decision to, to buy a home. Um, I got an alert this morning that says that you now have 25% equity in your home. I can't believe we just helped you and your family into your home 18 months ago. I just wanted to congratulate you and see if you ever thought about thawing any of that equity, kind of bringing it to life, maybe funding college accounts or paying off debts, um, buying an investment property, or um, maybe there's just something out there you've been wondering how you could come up with the capital for. So is, have you ever thought about thawing out that equity? You know, it's like just that's a, so a simple conversation to have. Who doesn't want you to call them and tell them they were smart for buying a house 18 months ago? So those are great. Now, might these come to fruition and may we get a deal out of it today? Probably a low converting opportunity, but a very high value opportunity. In other words, if you believe what I believe that somewhere in the next 24 months, we're going to enter a recession. And if we go back and look at interest rates over the last 40 years, recessions equal lower interest rates. That's the level that the Federal Reserve is going to pull. They're going to start QE back up again. And we're very likely to see the lowest interest rates of all time. So we talked about planting seeds. Deborah may say, no, Josh, I don't need money for anything. I'm debt free and, and I'm, I'm good. Thank you. And we can just, you know, I can just have an easy reason to connect and validate her that she made a great decision and remind her by the way, that 25% in equity, it didn't happen without your mortgage partner, Josh here. So, you know, I'm just planting that seed that I'm, I'm part of the wealth team. Uh, mortgage inquiries team, insanely high converting. These should be treated, you know, we'll go back to the infant child, uh, infant child analogy. This should be treated like a hostage situation with an infant child. All hands on deck, you should get a hold of any mortgage inquiries before the end of the day. Um, I, I would take Jeremy's formula, call, email, text, and double that up on mortgage inquiries because somebody needs leverage, needs financing, and they've gone to another bank to get it. You've got to get to those people quick. Listing presentation, listing, somebody's listed their home for sale. Very, very, very valuable. Again, this is, this is like an infant child hostage situation, all hands on deck, get a hold of those listings. But here's the one that back to your, your thesis, Dave, we talked about how do we turn this into a realtor or referral partner generate, generating pillar. Our realtors are very uh, rarely tracking the equity of their past clients. They're never tracking credit improvements of their past clients. And they don't, because they don't have the ability, they're not, a, they're not a licensed mortgage officer. And they don't have the ability, Dave, to, to tap in or be aware when there's a mortgage inquiry. This is a lead for a realtor every single time, every single time, maybe unless they're just you know, pulling out an equity line. But in most cases in this market, people are thinking about buying a new home and this can be a lead back. Uh, Dave, I've got another slide that I, I want to I wanna show as it relates to this. This is something I'm working on on how to present real, to realtors. Real quick, pull that down. And I, I do want to, no, go ahead and stop sharing because I oh, want to show something just to connect this to a concept that I talk a lot about in the mortgage coach community and I have for years. Uh, so I just want to show a slide really quick. And I, I want to remind folks, you know, that, that the real estate industry 
has got hit hard. And I mean, this is what it looked like to be a realtor a few years ago. And, and this is the battlefield for real estate agents today. So the battlefield wow. has changed radically for real estate agents. So the microeconomic issues in terms of rates are up 2%. I mean, that's, that's nothing compared to just the, you know, the industry shift. And, and I've talked a lot about how they need to do what Amazon and Zillow can't do. And, and here's, here's the deal, guys. You know, every real estate agent's database looks like this. And, and most of them aren't even <laughs> in actionable places. Like, but this is, and, and by the way, guys, this is what most loan officers' database looks like. But I can assure you, Rocket's database looks like this. Zillow's mm. database looks like this. They, they, they're using big data, artificial intelligence, presentations, automation, and systems to go from here to here. And then, you know, like Josh showed guys, there's an equity alert and, and, and we need to get good as mortgage professionals, being able to present, what can you do with that equity? What does moving up look like? What does moving down look like? What does consolidating your debt and doing some home improvements look like? So whether it's a cash out alert, whether it's an equity alert, you know, everybody in the mortgage coach community needs to get good at, at doing a total cost analysis that says, hey, this is what you got. Um, there's not a lot that look good in the money on refis. This is an old TCA. So, so refis are not going to look good in today's market. You may not even show that column. But, but moving up or moving down might look good. You know, and in this particular scenario, again, it was before interest rates went up. But there's still a lot of situations where someone could, you know, move up, get a better home, get the lifestyle they want, take that savings and invest it with a financial planner and significantly improve their net worth. Or they can move up and, and they can um, lower their monthly payment. And that's still an option, you know, especially in move down analysis. Uh, Jeremy, in the, you know, the video that I'm going to share to you guys, he shared a move down analysis where the family was able to, to move down lower their payments by a couple hundred dollars and put a couple hundred thousand dollars, I think $300,000 with the financial planner. So they were able to get liquid, right size their lifestyle and accelerate their freedom point, that point in time where they don't have to work anymore. And he showed them how to turn that, I think it was 200,000 that, that they had cash out, 300,000 he put down, 200,000 extra cash. And then he showed them how to turn that into 560,000 in 15 years by investing it. Exactly. Which, which should have turned into a referral to a financial advisor. So um, if you haven't watched that training, I, I really suggest you do. It was brilliant. All right, guys. So we'll put a link down below. Um, so Josh, continue. You had some other things you wanted to share. Also, uh, we have Alex. The Knowing all the boomerang talk we were having, I, I pinged Alex and said, hey, buddy, if you can join us, jump on Zoom. So, oh, there he is. What's up, Alex? What's up, guys? Alex. How's it going, Josh? How's it going, team? Have you guys really uh, met, ever met Josh Josh, or, or um, anyone on I've the call? I've watched a couple of trainings that Alex has done, but I don't think we've ever met in person. But, well, pleasure to meet you in person like this. Did a, did the, a new, brother. The, new, the new in person. <laughs> <laughs> and then Todd, Todd Booksman, meet Alex. I think it's the first time you guys have been on a virtual call together. No, no. I interviewed Alex for uh, Housing Wire last year. It was, yeah, it was that's uh, right. one of the highlights that's of the right. year. Yeah, that was awesome. Nice to see you, Todd. Good to see you, sir. And then Deborah, say hi to Todd. What's up? What's oh, I like you? that, Deborah. That's that's not a typical what's up. That that was like no. a very like Cobra esque. You you had me hypnotized there for a minute. How are you doing, Deborah? <laughs> it's big dead energy. Hey, 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 Alex. I wanted you to make a note. The shirt I'm wearing has got the Mortgage Coach logo, and so they are they're now in the Win by Noon store. So check I it love out. It. Yes, yes. I'll All right. Well, Alex. Josh, you were getting ready to share something, and uh, Alex, feel free to ask questions as we go through this. But Josh, what do you got for us, bro? Uh, well, let me frame this up real quickly. I, I, my my thesis here is, team, that that mortgage advisors have an unfair advantage as it relates to client retention and keeping the transfer of value between advisor and client alive well after the close of the transaction. My coach Tim Brahim. He's famous for saying that if, his script is, if I'm doing my job right, the closing of your loan, Dave, is where our relationship begins and not ends. 
And my commitment to you and your family is to monitor your mortgage proactively for life. And if ever there's an opportunity to improve your situation, I'll proactively step back in and I will contact you. And um, that is an ability that realtors do not have with us without us mortgage advisors. Um, Dave, to your point on your slide where it was, you know, the crowd with all the people with the question marks and, and, and that's what we see and that's what realtors see. Well, it's not what we see if we're using sales boomerang, but let's say we didn't have a trigger lead system set up. That's what mortgage lenders and that's what realtors see for sure. Conversely, if you turn on that artificial intelligence that's monitoring that database, now we have all this information. And I believe that realtors have felt up to this point that um, FinTech, uh, the Quickens in the world, they, they, that technology is basically disrupting the way they're doing business and they feel at effect and, and, and not empowered. What I'm suggesting is we use what we know and the tools that we have with Sales Boomerang and Mortgage Coach. And I'd also throw in HomeBot in there. Yep. And we show those realtors how to be empowered by this financial technology. So this is a slide that we've been working on that um, we're, we're, we're gonna be taking out to our realtor database. And the question that we wanna, we wanna ask them is how much is your data worth? How many people do you have in your past client database? And how much would it be worth if as a mortgage team, we could turn on artificial intelligence in the background that would monitor your client's behavior, trigger us, alert us to step back into their lives therefore creating referral opportunities for you. And of course, you know, Alex, you, you, you came in right after this, but I just showed the sales boomerang screen. I highlighted the fact that credit improvement triggers, listing alert triggers, uh, mortgage inquiry triggers. These are gold mines in terms of having opportunities to plant those, those seeds and those clients back with those, with those realtors. And this slide walks them through just a couple of statistics, right? We know that the average homeowner moves every 10 years. That means if you have a thousand people in your past client database, there's a hundred moves a year. Uh, yeah. Yep. Eight, eight, eight deals, eight deals a month. How much is that worth for you? I mean, the it's, numbers. Big. It's, it's so, it's so, it's so remarkable the the activity that lives inside a realtor's database that also lives inside a lender's database and it's so interesting because in 2017 when we launched uh for the first few months all i heard people tell me is uh we need to take care of the realtor we need to take care of the realtor and they're like they're buying donuts they're buying bagels they're buying <laughs> and, like i always call the donuts for deals right here's some donuts give me some deals i got two hands one has donuts i need deals in the other one right i need i need a balance and and i would ask like why are you guys so um like completely obsessed with catering to the to the realtor like what am i missing they're like alex are you kidding me they got the deals i'm like really what do you mean they got the deals? Like, well, they refer business to me. I'm like, oh, and a hundred percent of that turns into business. Like, no, 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 well, no, no way. I'm like, so, so they have leads for you. They don't have deals. And you actually have the flip side of that. You actually have deals for them. When you refer someone from an event that's happened that Sales Boomerang has discovered, you're not giving them a lead anymore. You're now giving them a deal. This person is qualified. They said they want to purchase, right? And, and when you give it back to them, that's a deal versus a lead. Hey, let's see if they qualify. Let's see if they're, they're able to do what, what they said they wanted to do. Two different things. And, and, and so have you, have you ever thought about that, that concept, Josh? Like you get a lead from, from your realtor partner, but with, you're able to actually give them real volume um, by referring it back to them. Have you given that any thought? Well, because when I refer somebody over to a realtor, they're already pre-approved and they're ready to write an offer. I've been through pre-underwriting. Like it, that's a deal. Uh, yes. Exactly to your point. Yeah, yeah, and it's and I think and I think for everyone listening, um, that's the that's the mindset shift to have. But you can't just shift your mindset without having a, a a partner or a resource or a tool to be able to add value to your customers. There's a reason why Keller uh, decided to to open up a mortgage com uh, mortgage company because they wanted continuity. They wanted the brand to be continuous. 
right? You can talk to our realtor, you can talk to our loan officer, we're still, we're still under the same umbrella. And it's like, how do we create that in the lending space without having to buy a real estate company, right? Like, how do you create that? You no longer pay for marketing. You now align your interest and say, look, everything that, that you have, we have, and everything I have, you have. And, and together, we can create continuity, right? Like, I don't know if you guys have that conversation, Josh, with your, with your agents. Like, this is, we're the same brand. Anytime I talk to a mutual client, I'm representing you. Anytime you talk to a mutual client, you're representing me. But let me feed you. Let me give you those eight deals. Let me give you those eight deals a month, a month, uh, right back to you. Yeah, to your point, um, Bill Hart has, you know, made famous the saying, better together. Mm. And, and, and that means value transfer both ways that benefit the client. And my, my, my point that I, wanted to, that I wanted to showcase here today is that we have the golden ticket. Like we have the, the Willy Wonka golden ticket, which is this credit monitoring, the listing alert. We, we can see all of the predictive indicators that tell us that somebody needs us to step back in their life and add value. And I, I think the whole conversation is, if, I, if we work in partnership, you can leverage this information because I can't do it as well without you. I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna need market analysis. I'm gonna need advice, move up, move down, what price range. I'm gonna need all that data. And you're gonna need to know that Wells Fargo just pulled our past client's credit and they're looking exactly. to potentially buy a new home. So it's, it's better together but we bring something so much more damn valuable than donuts, right? We're bringing connectivity to their past clients. We're bringing opportunities that they have zero ability to, to, to be aware of without us. So, so two, guys, two things, what Jeff. I want to do, hey, hold on for a second, Let's Alex, because I do, we got 20 minutes left. And at some point, Alex, I know that you have been helping some of our mutual clients uh, have a better conversation with realtors around given our database. And it, I, I don't know if you can pull it up and show it in a minute, not yet, but show how you're ROIing a realtor's database. Like, hey, realtor, if you had yeah, you pull it up. 200. Um, so Josh, while he's looking for that, and before he pulls it up, I want to make sure people get a script out of this. So what if, if you were talking to an agent right now and you wanted to, you know, you got a minute or two, to, to tell them how you're using a combination of mortgage coach, uh, sales boomerang and HomeBot, uh, whether you call those out by name or not, or just how you do that, um, what's it sound like? What's the value prop, you know, scripting sales strategy sound uh, within three minutes to a real estate agent or a real estate group, a group of real estate agents? Sure. So Dave, if I was able to show you how to leverage artificial intelligence to monitor every single one of your past clients 24 seven, 365 all the time and show you how to turn that past client database into new clients, would you wanna see that artificial intelligence? Would you wanna learn how to turn FinTech in your advantage instead of against you? Just something super simple like that. Like, hey, there's no way for realtors to, to manage that entire past client database without us. And if we can present to them that, that FinTech can actually help grow their business, not just disrupt their business, I think that's pretty appealing. I think that's pretty appealing too. I want to remind folks that when I did the interview with Jeremy Forcier, how, you know, how he's getting people to meet with him and, and have meetings. I'm going to put the scripting on my um, slide right now, but he's, he's basically saying, Hey, if I can help you close three extra transactions in the next couple of months, would you be open to a 15 minute meeting? Uh, and then of course, you know, when he has that meeting, it's how he's using big data, intelligence, presentation, FinTech, whatever to generate these. Also want to remind folks, you know, the, the scripting at the point of sale, Again, make it your own. But if you don't, if you don't have a value prop with every borrower that you serve that talks about how you help them make a decision and then how you help coach and manage that decision, like I would just say in this market, um, you're in an unfair disadvantage. You know, mortgage coach loan officers are taking market share from non-mortgage coach loan officers. And because they don't, they don't have this boomerang alert platform and they don't have mortgage coach. Uh, so I love that script. Alex, can you in like two minutes or less, just show us how you would ROI out the database? 
like help Josh, you know, say, Hey, Josh, here's some things to consider when you're making that pitch. And here's how you might ROI that for a realtor. Well, it's super easy. I'm going to, I'm going to do it super easy. First of all, uh, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Agent, if I could spend 15 minutes with you and show you how I can add three more deals for you in the next couple of months, zero agents in this country are saying no to that conversation. Let's just be honest, like zero agents. If somebody says no to you, you probably should never call that person back again because there's no reason for anyone to go, oh, a couple more deals in, 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 in a few, yeah, I, I'm, I'm all short. Sure, please show me an idea. So just, just know that that's a brilliant script. It, very short, I'll just, I'll just do this quickly. Go right, go right for the kill, right? So very simple. You, Josh, you said it. You have a thousand people in your database. Okay. A, a realtor. I'm, I'm going to stop here. This is going to be very simple. Watch this. This is this is how you this is how you ROI uh, this this conversation right here, Mr. And Mrs. Realtor. I didn't change anything. This is just your data is going into my system without untouched, untouched at all. And every month. Every month, I'm going to alert you on 71 events that are happening inside your database. Usually, anywhere from 30 to 40 percent of them are going to be purchase related. So, anywhere from 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 21 to 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 you know 28 opportunities uh, every single every single uh, month are going to be purchase related. Some are now, some are later. But this is what you are missing from your customer base. Now, Josh, I was going to ask you this, and everybody else on the call too: should should agents care about refis that you're doing for your mutual clients? I would say, heck yeah, it's a way to stay involved as part of the wealth team. That's it. That's it. If they stay in the network, they'll be back for the purchase. If they stay in the network, they'll be back for the purchase. And so look, Mr. and Mrs. Agent, I got 71 times I'm going to reach out to you this month and let you know there's events happening. And by the way, this is the truth. When you call a customer and say, hey, I see you're going to be working with Josh on that refi. Congratulations. You chose the best, the best team once again. People are inspired to reciprocate. Oh my goodness, Alex, I forgot. Oh my goodness. My brother's actually thinking of buying a house in the next few months. Can I make an intro for you? Right? So all of a sudden the agent is just giving a real positive pat in the back. Good luck with your, with your mortgage. And the person feels obligated to do something to say, thank you. Oh, my coworker was thinking about moving. Can I make an introduction? And all of a sudden referrals start coming. So 71 conversations that are relevant to the customer. 30% of them are going to be purchased. The rest are going to be refi related or some sort of financial conversation related. And all of them have a chance to be referrals. So look, there's a chance you have 71 referrals in one month. Uh, if they're not deals, they're, they're conversations with future, future. Customers. Josh, any questions or comments on how Alex is doing that or anything you want to play off that? Oops, I'm trying to find that calculator right now. Calculator.salesboomerang.com. <laughs> we can get it. We can get you that link. Thanks, uh, it's it's uh, it's, oh, it's is, what is we this use a to... link that that um, sales boomerang clients can use in the market. Or is this... no, no, Josh. But we could we could work something with you. We don't. This is not a public. This is this is what we do to to evaluate ROI. This is this is the real alert rates over the last thirty days for our clients in each category and all the prescriptive scenarios and in just uh, the basic uh, notifications. And then we we show what the pull through is and 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 all, so so it's completely customizable. But this is what they can expect to receive any thousand records today should expect about 71 events to happen every month. Some are higher, some are lower, but that's the average. I, I think it's, I think this is very valuable to show live time in a realtor presentation. Um, if you think back to that slide that I created, I if showed- Stop sharing real quick, Alex, yep. just yep. so we're talking yep. fireside. Yeah, uh, let me go back to that screen real quick. <clears throat> So I did the same kind of a thing in this slide, right? I showed that, that statistically a home buyer moves every 10 years, but also they refinance every 10 years. And, and this is potentially equally as valuable for that mm -hmm. realtor to step back into their lives and become, become an advisor again. You know, if we want to not be a transactional industry, we have to stop acting transactional. We have to actually think about how do we transfer value and think about this. If every realtor I worked with in the past was willing to do an AVM for me and help counsel with me and that client to where the value is going to come in and how much cash I could pull out of the house, how much equity they all, uh, they actually had, that would be a tremendous amount of value to me, but a tremendous amount of value to those clients too. Oh, yes. So my, my point in showing this slide is these are both opportunities for you and 20% of your database is pinging every year. So there's 200 potential opportunities for you to either re-advise that client or step back in as the expert 
Um, but if I had this slide, Alex, and then I could go to that calculator you just had up, that would be an improvement over what I'm doing currently. Yeah, yeah, no, that's it's it's beautiful. I, I love I love that slide, and I love I love that point. It's uh, it's and and I and I also really respect the fact that you understand the value of getting the agent involved on things like like refi because it's it's part of the financial journey of that consumer, and as an agent. And, and as the lender, um, it's important to be part of that. Like, it's just important. Well, think about a financial advisor, right? They don't, ever, they don't just check in every 10 years. <laughs> they check in quarterly. They check in biannually. They do an annual review. It, it, you don't think of financial advisors as a transactional business because they're there for a long time. That's the way mortgage advisors and realtors have to start thinking. We're just helping them understand the leverage side and the asset of their real estate. And Josh, but you're, you're making a really interesting point. And the reason financial advisors aren't coming to you every 10 years is because they're looking at the markets daily and they're having good reasons to contact their customer, right? And so without good reasons, you turn into spam. You That's just turn it. Hey, what, what, hey, 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 and you're just, and you're just randomly, you know, you're doing this, you're doing very similar dance to what Deborah was doing earlier, you know, and, and it's like, <laughs> not that uh, good, <laughs> but, but, but you need the reason financial advisors are looked at as, as an asset that you interact with on a regular basis is because they're like, they, people perceive that they have value to offer because their markets are changing, things are changing, but so is your house. So is the rate. So is the mortgage. So is the credit. So is uh, your, your kids are going to college. You got married, had a baby, had a divorce, moving to a new place. People are, you know, there's so many things happening in your life. There's a reason for you to advise throughout the relationship and not wait for a transaction because that's, that is Josh, the way you, you change it. Yeah. I would just add one more thing in there. We don't have the, uh, the reverse mortgage alert set up yet. Um, is that, is that out Alex? Have you guys launched? Oh, yes. That? Yep. Right. It's another conversation point where realtors should be brought back in. And I know Definitely. mortgage coach is working on a reverse mortgage, total cost analysis. So, so many opportunities there. So many. all right, guys. So we're in the last eight minutes. I do want to remind you guys that I, we created some micro content. So from, Last Wednesday's sales meeting with Jeremy, we, we took an 18 minute snippet where he focused on what it's a move down analysis. So he's taking the equity alert and then he's, he's either going, Hey family, do you want to right size move down or do you want to move up? And so he talks about it in detail. He provides sales strategy. He even gets into a couple TCAs. So just want to remind everyone that this snippet is there. I'm also going to be doing a sales meeting with Jeremy at 11 o'clock today. So an hour from now, Jeremy and I will be doing a 30 minute weekly sales meeting. Um, so Todd, anything you want to ask of Alex or Josh as we go into this final eight minutes? Well, you know, I want to circle back because I, I said it earlier, Josh, you're the person who takes action more than anyone I know. And you said that this type of market is one where you can make insane leaps. So what would your coaching be to, the people watching this either live or on video to take action now to make this uh, a big thing for them and their real estate agents? Great question, buddy. Uh, I'm going to share something that Lori Richardson's doing because I think um, the only person I know that is takes action faster than me is Lori. She's on the coaching call and she's already implemented. Uh, she, she, you know, we had a couple discussions around this about doing equity analysis about, um, taking the mindset that right now we're going to plant the seeds and build the relationship. We're going to focus on the lead indicators. The lead indicators are the actions you take to get the results. The results are the lag indicators. So right now we're just going to focus on the lead indicators and we're going to get our gratification. We're going to get our enjoyment. We're going to get our fulfillment through executing on the lead indicators, because we know this is the season that we plant the seeds. And in the next season, we do the harvesting. So the thing, that, the thing that Lori implemented right away was that she decided she was going to do 10 equity analysis calls per day with her database. But then what I thought was even more brilliant is her team isn't maxed right now. She has more capacity than, than she needs. And so she asked her operations teammates that weren't maxed if they would be willing to call 10 past clients and say, hey, Todd, you know, my name's Julie. I was your processor. I worked with Lori Richardson. I don't know if you, I don't know if you remember me. Oh yeah, great. Well, hey, Lori just really wanted me to reach out on her behalf 
and see if you have contemplated analyzing the amount of equity and wealth you've built in your home. And if you'd like to just consult, have a consultation with Lori, where she can tell you what you might be able to do to leverage that equity. And so she's, she's, she's repurposed her excess operational capacity towards focusing on the front end and setting up appointments for, for Lori to do those equity analysis. So if I had a challenge, my challenge would be to set yourself a goal, get out your win by noon binder, create your, your goal that you're going to do 10 equity analysis. And if you have operational capacity, repurpose them to call those past clients and, and to set you up with appointments all day long. Boom, guys, you just got another script. You got another idea. I, I do want to remind folks that um, another taking action thing that y'all need to do is if you have not read this article, read this article. We'll put a, there is a link down below. And, and guys, if you don't have Sales Boomerang, like if you don't have a big data platform, you need one. So there's a button right here. Click this and you can sign up and get a Sales Boomerang demo. And I can't imagine anyone in the mortgage coach community is not a mortgage coach, but some of you are, and you can request a demo for mortgage coach too. So make sure that you, you have these platforms and then guys, make sure you get the training to do that. Uh, Deborah, before we run out of time, any questions for Alex or Josh? No, the first thing I thought of is how could you do those 10 equity assessment calls a day and then bring in your agent partner? And it may mm -hmm. be kind of corny, but you guys could even send out kind of that Willy Wonka, like a certificate of like, congratulations, you could co-brand it with the two of you, you and the agent, and congratulate them on their equity that's been built. And then if you had a QR code on the back or some kind of form where they could then scan the QR code, maybe it links to your lender launchpad link of all your client stories of TCAs of how equity has solved everyday problems for everyday Americans, just like you and me. So that would be kind of a cool way to, to partner with an agent, capture market share, but it's also a tangible, everybody loves certificates. You know, you feel like you've done a good job, you made a good decision, but then what do you do? What are some possible options of leveraging that debt or equity for your advantage? Love that. Mm -hmm. Love that, Josh. So, so guys, we only got three minutes left. I wanna remind you this Friday, the mastermind is gonna be dedicated. To, to how to turn your database into value for agents. Alex is going to be on the full hour. I'm going to be there. Josh, you're invited. If you want to come, we're going to deliver what we think are, you know, the mortgage coach, boomerang, best practices. We're going to invite some leaders like yourself that are leveraging their database this way already. Um, Alex, any questions you want to ask Josh before we run out of time? No, I mean, he, it's, it's, it, was, it was just wonderful to hear how you think about relationships with agents. And, and there's a clear re reason why you are in, in, the, in the position that you're in with, with lenders and your, and your, and your customers and your, and your agent partners, because you, you're thinking about them um, and even when they're not thinking about themselves, right? And, I, and, that's, and it's noticeable and it's, it's a reflection of your success. So no, this was great. Thanks, Dave, for having me on. Um, I, you know, I have a million things I could share, but just wanted to thank you for-, for Yeah, you know. no, it's, it's good to have you on. And then Josh, if you could close out, cause I know you are, I don't know what the word is. You're, you have a habit of prospecting two hours every day. Could you, and I, and I know these boomerang alerts are probably part of the follow-up for your team, but could you close out as a sales manager uh, for any loan officer on this that's you know not personally calling their alerts, they're not doing a TC a day. Could you just close out a sales manager? You know, why should they do that? And talk a little bit about your your nine o'clock prospecting time. Yeah, two things I two things I would offer. First of all, um, for me, prospecting is like my my workouts. Um, it takes a lot of mental acuity. It takes a lot of energy. Um, I have to come into that time allocation with the right energetic uh, frequency, if you will. And I know that at five o'clock, my energetic frequency sucks. I have, it's been a long day. But at 8.30, right after I get out of my gratitude meeting with my team, it's an electric time. And so create whatever that time is for you where you're on point, you're in the zone, you're in your peak state, put your prospecting there. And create those two hours for, for, for our team. It's 8.30 to 10.30 a.m. Sometimes it goes to one for some of our, our mortgage advisors. 
and put everything into prospecting and don't attach your gratification or success on the on the the lag indicators put them put them on the lead indicators just plan plan do the right thing for the customer do it every freaking day if it works do it every day if it doesn't work do it every single day and when the seasons turn you're going to have an absolute abundance of opportunities and people you've helped and advised and they won't think of you as transactional they'll think of you as relational and it'll change it'll change your entire business so so guys this was one of my favorite interviews three years ago it was called gratitude for greatness and josh shared about you know their team gratitude practice so before that you know nine o'clock hour they have a quick 15 minute huddle they share what they're grateful for and then you know this is a 12 minute video that drills down on this in a little more detail so josh you're a huge gift to the community bro appreciate you, you. uh todd bookspan mr win by noon if you don't mind wrapping it up and making it actionable today well, you know, it's hard to top what Josh just said, because he talked about my favorite things in the world, right? He talked about being proactive. He talked about measuring your lead indicators, which is what Win by Noon is all about, because ultimately you're not going to know if the lag indicators, you're hitting those till the end of the year. And in this market, you know, Josh already nailed it. He said he made an insane, insane leap um, in his relationships by being proactive in the last time we had a, a market like this. He said that he's got time now to think in time now to plan. And that's really what I would encourage you all to do. I think that this was, um, you know, a top five call of the last 12 months. And I think it's just a great opportunity for you to go back, watch it when it gets posted up onto YouTube and just make sure you take action. I mean, that's what we're all about. We're all about helping you create your success in 2022 and beyond. And Josh, you just nailed the way to do it. And I uh, can't wait for uh, Alex on Friday to give us his million other things he could say to help us grow our database and, and grow transactions in uh, in this crazy market. Love it. And Deborah, before we wrap, it's TCA Tuesday. And so I, I know personally, I'd love to see a lot of move up and move down TCAs featured, but what is the, the TCA of the week for TCA Tuesday today? It is the move up. Today is oh, the move sweet. up. Yeah, you nailed it. <laughs> So, so guys, get out there, create some social media content. I don't care if it's a uh, one minute, just Facebook live video telling a story of a family that you helped move up. They, they had a problem, which is what does moving up look like in one year, in five years? Heck, what does it look like next month? And put the numbers together and show how a family can expand and increase their net worth by moving up or moving down. All right, guys, this is a wrap. Hope everybody got value. Give it a like below. Share it with your mortgage friends. And thank you, Josh. Appreciate you, brother. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. See you, everybody. Call. This call Great is a wrap. See you, all. you guys are awesome. See you soon.